Johnson is back in the Fast Saga. He's going to be coming back for Fast X now. This might be some spoilers. This is coming from the rap. So if you don't want any single details at all for this movie, then, you know, you've been warned. But let's go into this video. So it says here from the rap saying Fast X Shocker. Dwayne Johnson returns to Fast Furious franchise exclusive. The Rock surprise tag appearance at the end of the new movie. Surprise! Dwayne Johnson has returned to the Fast and Furious franchise, making an appearance in the post credit sequence for the upcoming Fast X out next Friday, May 19th. The rap has exclusively learned what makes his return so shocking is how adamant Johnson was about not returning to the series. In November 2021, Fast and Furious franchise star and producer Vin Diesel took to Instagram essentially to beg Johnson to return to the mainline franchise. In 2019, Johnson starred in Hobbs and Shaw's spinoff with Jason and state them but yeah that's the big shocker and i'm gonna tell you this right now i'm surprised because for two years it, you know everyone's been wondering when is dwayne johnson gonna come back to fast fears because look i'm gonna say this right now dwayne johnson while he might be the biggest actor in the world right now one of them at least the main thing that really got him there was fast five which to me fast five is not only my favorite fast movie but it's one of my favorite action films of all time it's definitely in the top 10 never really counted the top 10 but it's definitely up there I, I love fast five i think that was dwayne johnson's best performance and then after that his career just skyrocketed and the fast movies in up until that point just went on this massive crusade of dominating every time there's a fast movie it felt like a big uh, event at least for a lot of car fans or action fans and then of course uh, Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson had this whole big issue I'm not even going to get into it all but there's so many issues that it caused Fate of the Furious to have some serious issues and you can tell that movie honestly was damaged because of their whole beef and drama that was going on that it got so bad that they had they couldn't do scenes together like actors not doing scenes together that's your job that's your career imagine if teammates imagine if fucking Messi and Mbappe couldn't play together like how awkward would that be for PSG obviously uh there's a lot more to PSG than that but no I mean this is a big deal this is a big win for fast because and not just a win for fast fans but for Dwayne Johnson and the people involved Vin Diesel obviously wanted Dwayne Johnson because Dwayne Johnson helped you know, dominate these movies. He helped them. Now, I don't think he alone did it alone. Obviously, no movie is done alone, but he definitely was a major aspect in getting this movie or getting these movies successful. And I remember with F9, F9's, I love the fast movies. The only fast movie that I didn't like was the ninth one, this new recent one that came out a couple of years ago. And it's not really the reason why I didn't like it wasn't because Dwayne Johnson. There's a lot more issues with that film. But one thing that I felt awkward in the movie was why is Dwayne Johnson not here? At least in the scope of the, the movie franchise and all that, how everything works out. It didn't really make much sense not to have Dwayne Johnson in that film. And it felt kind of awkward because they're essentially saving the world. And you're telling me that this guy who helps save the world with this crew isn't going to save the world again. <laughs> like, you know, but obviously they even had to make a spin off Hobbs and Shaw. They were able to get uh, Decker Shaw back in this in in this film with Jason Statham. Obviously, Hobbs. I, I don't know how they're going to be able to pull it off, but I wonder what the post credit scene is. I don't know. I, look, realistically, I have a lot of respect for Dwayne Johnson. I don't really know Vin Diesel all that much, but I was on the side of Dwayne Johnson because from what it sounded like, it sounded like Vin Diesel was lazy. He wasn't coming on set uh, at the right time or anything like that. But Dwayne Johnson. From what everyone says is he's a very respectful guy. He's willing to redo scenes. He goes in there. He makes sure he does his job correctly. And to me, that's what every person should strive to be. Honestly, I know right now it's a cool thing to not like Dwayne Johnson because of everything that occurred with Black Adam. But he still has a lot of my respect. Learning a lot about his life. Learning about his his, uh, his worth ethic. I, I really respect him. And I think a lot of kids should look up to Dwayne Johnson. Because genuinely, Dwayne Johnson is the definition of what a man should be. You know, he's humbled, he's respectful. There's even times where uh, people outside who don't, who aren't famous, who are probably producers or something like that. And when they talk to Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson gives them 100% of their attention and gives them the utmost respect. And that's good because a lot of times in Hollywood, you're going to see these asshole actors who don't even bother to take a picture with the fan or something like that. And, and to me, I, I really respect Dwayne Johnson and I really love him in these fast movies. And I'm really happy that, that he's back in this post credit scene. And I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, that's it for my video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I didn't even know Fast was coming out this week. I'm not even, or next week, I mean. 
But I, I didn't even know that. I literally, the only reason I, I remembered was because I was going on Fandango and I was I was, uh, I was was considering buying, going to rewatch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is an amazing film. But I saw that it said, yeah, Fast is coming out this week. And I'm like, is this an early screening? And I was like, oh, no, this is actually like, this is just a normal release date. And I was like, what the fuck? They've been marketing this movie a lot. And yet I forgot completely that this movie was coming out on a certain day. Not all that excited for Fast X. I mean, there's things that under that look good but i feel like i'm a little burnt out because of f9 but hey look i might watch it if the reviews are good i might consider watching it what the first weekend i don't know i'm gonna have to wait and see and find out anyways thank you guys for watching this video hope you all enjoyed it see you on the next one ciao yeah we broke and we know it we don't act like all these other rappers acting like they got racks borrow cars but we're whipping in my mom's truck 99 full but act like it's a double R Yeah we broke and we know it we don't act like All these other rappers acting like they got racks Borrow cars but we're whipping in my mom's truck 99 full but act like it's a double R